I'm sure we've all come across this problem where a client or customer gives you an image to use and it's not in the same aspect ratio as the document you need to use it in. How do we fix it? You're in the right place to find out and that's here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo with me, Tony Harmer, aka The Design Ninja. Okay, so I've lost count of the number of times this has happened to me. You get a client who gives you an image to say, yeah, this is from when I was in Africa or wherever, and um, I want to use this image. It's exactly the right thing we want. But the aspect ratio, of course, is not the same, but clients don't understand that, do they? So how do we get around it? Well, if we were to use free transform, so command T or control T to do that and try and scale it. So let's try and do that proportionally from the center. So I'm holding down the option key to transform from the center. There's not a lot of crop room to be had there. That's too tight a crop for a document, of course. And if I just undo that, if I go ahead and try and scale it, then of course it's going to look ridiculous. I'm holding down shift as well here to scale this outwards. Yeah, that elephant's put on quite a bit of weight in the last few seconds. I'll hit escape to come out of that. So how do we do it? The answer is content aware scale. The shortcut is shift option command, that's shift alt control and C. Although you can also go to the edit menu and you'll find it just down about here. What we can do now is go ahead and scale it. Now, just to point out, I'm using a version of Photoshop where I don't need to hold down the shift key for proportional scaling. OK, so just bear that in mind. So what I'm going to do here is hold down option and shift because I'm going to do this disproportionately. OK, and move outwards like so. Now, in this particular case, it's working pretty well. I've got a bit of post cloning to do down in these areas here that have quite obviously been stretched. But I could also use this amount slider and back that off. This is kind of a balance between actual scaling with a bit of destructive stuff going on there and proportional scaling. We do also have one further option. I'm going to hit escape here to come out of content aware scale. And I'm going to select the elephant. Now here I can just use select and subject. Okay, and it selects me that very, very quickly. I can then save that selection. Okay, which creates me a new alpha channel. I'm going to call that Ellie for the elephant just there. Okay, and hit OK. Now, if I deselect that and go ahead and use content aware scale again, so Shift Option Command, Shift Alt Control C, this time I can go ahead and hold down the Option key and the Shift key here, or Alt Shift, and you can see that now that's scaling across nicely and it is just slightly making that wider. If I choose Protect Ellie, you can see how that suddenly changes. And there you go. That's how you can quickly fix aspect ratio problems. If it's a very wide aspect, do a tiny bit of content aware scale and then run it again. That's the way to do it. We're done for now and I'll see you next time here in the Work Smarter Not Harder Dojo. See ya.